Agent 5, you have just been shot with a dart coated with an unknown toxin. Your vital signs are beginning to fluctuate. What'd they say about this sort of thing? Oh, right. Don't remove the dart. Was I supposed to remove it? No, whatever. Oh, boy. Gotta get back to the TSA and synthesize an antidote. Please note, the same thing will happen if you don't cure yourself in time, so you're really not missing anything. It's a nice little alcove. Don't have any time to admire the views, though. Uh-oh. place. <clears throat> All right then. Oh. Nice eyepiece. Thanks. Do you belong here? Um... Hmm. That can't be good for the time stream. Go through this door and biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. Oh please. I know how to Hey! Who are you? Security, we have an unauthorized visitor in lab building four. Oops. Oh man, that's a nice assault rifle. Agent five. Do not disturb the current environment and possibly the current time stream without extreme cause. Also, as a TSA agent, you are forbidden to carry lethal weapons under Protocol 37. Oh, quit ringing on my parade. Come on. I'm going to need to destroy that robot somehow. And an assault rifle with a mounted grenade launcher seems like a very, very efficient way of taking out a robot. Besides, what's the worst thing that could happen? Uh oh. Oh! Dr. Sinclair! Say, why are you bringing your antique elephant gun out of your office? Uh. You're not Elliot! Oh, security! Crap. Security! Don't shoot the man with the glasses! That is the best acting I have ever seen! And of course, because it's too awesome to not include, here's the original cutscene. She's right. I should probably put this thing back. <sighs> Killing the robot with a grenade wouldn't be very subtle, would it? Oh. Uh -oh. No! Dr. Sinclair! Aren't you speaking at the conference right now? Uh, uh, Wait a minute, if you were speaking at the conference, you wouldn't be here! <laughs> Sometimes I just think too much. Goodbye, Dr. Sinclair, and don't eat anything toxic now. What was that? Dr. Thompson, please report to conference check-in in auditorium complex.
this door appears to be lodged shut from the inside. With an added amount of leverage, this door may be pried open. Gotcha. Gordon Freeman style! Ah. Alright. Time to go and deal with... Something. Oh. This guy again. Uh-oh. That's not a dart gun. That's a plasma rifle. Oh, crap. Okay. To go in there and find the attacker. Biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. I'll be careful. Please. You're my mother or something. May I see your badge, please? Uh-oh. Security, we have another protester at the auditorium entrance. How'd he get over here if he was... Uh, the... Whatever. Biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. Gotcha. I'll have to go around. Biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. Right then. I don't see anybody. Uh oh. Uh, hi? <coughs> Again, could have gone better. Biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. Conference attendees must check in at the main reception in the auditorium complex. Hmm. What is that? Biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. Yeah, yeah, caution. Oops, I pressed the open button. Excuse me, can I help you? Um, this is a private office, you know? Hmm... Do I even have to say it anymore? Alright. Agent 5. A strong temporal flux has been detected. Extreme caution advised. Gotcha. Robot must be behind this door. Crap, I don't have a weapon. Alright, I have to think. I have to improvise. Uh, what would Gordon Freeman do? Uh oh. Because I'm... Oh no. Damn it, I'm too late. Oh, crap. Hmm. Or maybe a bit quicker thinking, probably. Agent 5. A strong temporal flux has been detected. Extreme caution advised. There you are. What to do? You think? Come on, there has to be something here I can do with this robot. Um... Uh, um, uh oh, that's not good. Um, uh, crap. Let's try this again. Agent 5, a strong temporal flux has been detected. Extreme caution advised. Gotcha. And there's the robot. Okay, what to do? What do you think? Hey, Robo Boy. How's 10,000 volts taste? I don't know, but you're about to find out. Yeah! <laughs> 
How's it feel? I am so awesome. Alright, optical memory, mapping programs, and a red Ooh, and a rifle. Oh man, is that plasma? Oh well. Warning. Detecting trace concentrations of a sleeping gas in the atmosphere. Oh great, sleeping gas. That certainly could have gone better, couldn't it? Oh boy. This is bad. Though, not really anything unexpected. Uh, this mask isn't going to work forever. I should probably take this. Well, goodbye then, I guess, journeyman key. It may be advisable to leave the gas canister in its current position. Oh, please. Besides, some sleeping gas might come in handy. Uh-oh. Get your hands in the air! Uh, okay then. Oh, d d don't you be sarcastic with me. I just broke the launch code, human. You'll never stop me. Wanna bet? Nuclear strike authorized. Primary target, Gorbistan. New launch silo selected. Malulu, Hawaii. Launch to proceed in... Two minutes. To deactivate a missile before launch, use the trackball to move the cursor over the active silo, then touch the override button. Oh crap, I suck at geography. Uh. Oh no. I knew I should pay attention to my teachers. Crap. Only tagging seconds left. We've exhausted most of the islands. Aha, there's one! Missile launched. Oops. NORAD Delta, Sub Bay 3. All right, time to kick, take care of that robot. Go be tough. Right there he is. Motor claw operation. He's trying to smash through the door. Uh oh. There he is. Uh-oh. Oh crap! Ah!
Oh, there's the robot. Oh, right! I forgot. If I increase the pressure on this thing, it should kill anything inside there. Maximum pressure. How's it feel to be imploded? Well, I'd say that it just was. Booyah! Agent 5, recommend that you proceed with the removal of the robot's biochips before initiating auto-recall. Gotcha. Ooh! Toasty. Shield. Optical memory. And a retinal scan to get through that door. All right, time to go and deal with Sinclair. All right, got a bomb here. I can blow through the door with this. Hmm. Can't help but feel that I'm forgetting something. Something really important. Now I remember! I forgot to put on the shield biochip. Stay back! Stay back! Don't try to stop me! I knew they'd send a TSA agent when the rips were detected. You foiled all my attempts to alter the past, but you won't stop me now. You're as tricky as one of those aliens, aren't you? Trying to sneak around, attack me, but you have failed. And I will be Earth's savior whether it acknowledges me or not. Acknowledged. Caution. Sensors have detected the radioactive emissions from a weapon-grade nuclear isotope, indicating that an armed thumor nuclear device is nearby. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Alright, where is he? Alright, gotcha, Elliot. Can't you see? I'm doing this to save the world from a future of enslavement! No, you aren't. Come on, can we talk the about this? is not what it seems! What do you mean? I know you think I'm crazy, but it doesn't matter! Come on, we can talk this over. You stay back, or I'll kill you too! Um... Come on, you're a reasonable man. You invent time travel, we can- Oh no. Don't you see? I'm doing this for the human race! I'm doing this for you! Ah! Oh, that certainly could have gone better. Warning. Bomb detonation is imminent. Agent 5, you must disarm the nuclear device. Okay. Bomb disarming. Certainly not on my list of qualifications, but I think I can take it down. Oh, boy. Well, looks like it's the end. And that's the end of Gage Blackwood. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I certainly haven't enjoyed making it. Three attempts spread over the course of at least 16 hours over a year and a half. 
And I still can't get that last death scene to trigger. Oh well, I guess I'll try getting NX Delta to film it. You still can. Well, anyhow, thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I certainly enjoyed every part of this besides the death reel. See you later. No, wrong button! What are you still doing here? Go on, there's nothing to see. Shoo. Are they gone? Okay then. I have a couple of things left to show you. First off, there are two death scenes which I didn't show due to the fact that they take over 20 minutes to activate. This first one is what happens if you run out of oxygen in the Mars maze while you're wearing the mask. And if it's full, of course. And this other one occurs if you are at Mars and you don't get to the bomb in time. That's two hours, I think. But also, I don't think you can actually go into the room with the bomb, otherwise you're going to die of radiation poisoning instead. There were a couple of unused death scenes as well. This first one talks about Gage Blackwood falling down a shaft, and I believe I found it on the Mars disc. So, I'm assuming it's one of the shafts in the Mars maze, but thankfully, they put guardrails around it. Seems kind of weird for people in space to do that. I mean, nobody else does. Anyway, this second one is talking about you crashing into a wall in the canyon while you're flying the shuttle. So, assumedly, they planned for that part to be a minigame, too. Don't really have much to say about that, actually. And, finally, here's one talking about some decoy in your sub in NORAD. So, assumedly, you were going to have to go and get some sort of decoy, otherwise you were going to die. It didn't really seem like that would have been a minigame, but... I don't get why they would have cut that out. Weird. Hey, there's 42 used death scenes. Nah, I'm sure it's nothing. Besides, I counted them up weirdly. Well, anyway. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying till the end. Actually, I kind of did enjoy this. A bit. Anyway, stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Hopefully, it won't take nearly as long as this last one. Alright, catch you later. For the Journeyman Project 2. Probably.